फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट आई हैव परपोस्ट दैट इट शुड बी डिलीटेड दिस मैटर केम अप बिफोर सुप्रीम कोर्ट सम टाइम इन द रिसेंट पास्ट द केस ऑफ शोइंग डिसरिस्पेक्ट टू द नेशनल फ्लैग दैट इज नेशनल सिंबल केम बिफोर द सुप्रीम कोर्ट थ्री ईयर्स अगो द वर्डिक्ट इन दिस केस वॉज दैट इफ अ पर्सन बर्न्स द नेशनल फ्लैग ही नीड नोट बी अरेस्टेड नाउ वट वॉज द लॉजिक बिहाइंड दैट आई डू नोट वॉन्ट टू गो इन टू दैट बट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल द हाउस दैट दिस इज द वर्डिक्ट ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड नोट दैट ऑफ द लोअर कोर्ट इन माई व्यू देयर शुड नोट बी एनी डिफिकल्टी टू फॉलो द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट बिकॉज टूडे देयर आर सच मिनिस्टर्स इन द गवर्नमेंट इट सेल्फ हु हैड टोक्ड ऑफ बर्निंग ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट सेल्फ बट दिस डिड नोट कोज एनी हार्म टू द कंट्री एंड इट ओनली proved to be the expression of one's anger such people will frame laws here and also such people will keep the government to frame this law who do not at all bother about the laws in the elections the person might have resolved to burning the constitution in anger i therefore do not think it proper to deprive that person from contesting the election for 6 years this approach does not appeal to me from moral and legal point of view i have an objection that a new clause is being added to clause 20b in so far as observers are concerned the observer nominated under sub section 1 shall have the power to direct the returning officer for the constituency or any of the constituencies for which he has been nominated to stop counting of votes at any time before the declaration of the results or not to declare the result if in the opinion of the observer booth capturing has taken place at a large number of polling stations or at places fixed for the poll or counting of votes or any ballot papers used at a polling station or at a place fixed for the poll are unlawfully taken out of the custody of the returning officer or are accidentally or intentionally destroyed or lost or are damaged or tampered with thus the thing you have provided in the clause does not appeal to me because in this way we are conceding a misdeed but the misdeed should not be committed to the extent that it culminates in excesses against somebody this is why it does not appeal to me i discern haste in the drafting of the bill the government has therefore to reconsider this clause and bring about improvement therein i had already said that i could not comprehend the meaning of this proviso this is for the elections from assembly to the council but the way you have framed the provision this interaction is not clear then you have said in clauses a to h that a person cannot contest elections from more than two constituencies in this connection 
I have said in my amendment that it should not be more than one constituency. I have an objection in regard to provision for contesting from more than one constituency. Firstly, this is great injustice unto voters. An honorable member just now mentioned three leaders from amongst whom Shri Biju Patnayak is present here. The honorable member mentioned Atalji and Raoji. Now all these three honorable leaders have resigned from one constituency each and there is no representation for the voters of these constituencies in the house. This is great injustice unto these voters. There is nobody here who can raise voice on their behalf as far as their crores of problems are concerned. What crime these voters have committed for being deprived of any representatives here for many months and maybe for the next six months more. My second point in this regard is that a huge amount of taxpayers' money is spent on elections and this money ultimately belongs to the poor people. Now, I would like to ask as to how far it is advisable to spend this money on more than one constituency, sometimes two, three or five, even for just one contesting candidate. I therefore submit that the provision of not more than two should not be there. It should be confined to just one constituency, whether it is the election for assembly or Lok Sabha. I am therefore urging the Honorable Minister to accept this amendment. Coming to the provision of fine, I have already said that the provision of three months, six months, 500 rupees, etc., does not appeal to me. I have therefore suggested an increase at many places in fine and period of sentence. Mr. Deputy Speaker, Sir, now I am coming to close number 8. This issue was discussed in detail in our meeting held some day ago. There are recognized political parties on one side and on the other, there are registered political parties. At present, I do not have the booklet of political parties brought out by the Election Commission. Stop.